And here we have a 2017 Peugeot Partner diesel with a side loading door and a roof rack added on. We're going to do a cold start and a little walk around. Show you the inside. Works van. It has a mesh mesh bulkhead behind. Sliding door. This is with the twin rear doors at the back open, fully ply lined. It's got half a steel bulkhead with half a mesh bulkhead in there as well. Stop anything sliding forward. In the cabin, the front passenger seat folds flat. There's a flap there as well, which you can open. Anything slightly longer, you can load it all the way through. Bridge-wise, you've got a large glove box there. Two levels. Overhead storage for documents. Nice and large. This is a remote central locking, automatic wipers, automatic headlights. So as I say, you get a nice bit of spec with this little van. This model also comes equipped with parking sensors, electronic mirrors, so it's well specced. Speaking of storage, I've been advised, you've got a little compartment up there as well. Just close that. Then another document holder in the middle. Very useful little van. Cup holders down there. Okay, you've got some storage under the middle seat as well, whereas that then just folds down and you've got overhead storage as well. There. Show you the driver's side. Manual gearbox. Let's jump inside. Five speed manual. Aircon. I'm just going to fire it up from a cold start for you in a moment. Right, 2017, and it's done 87,742 miles. This is from a cold start. Put the ignition on. 10,500 miles to the next service. Fire up, first time. Okay, you've got the radio controls. Here behind, down there, a bit awkward to see, just there. Do that, we might be able to see them, there we are. Cruise control, you've got electric windows. Central locking, large screen digital radio. And now we're going to lift the bonnet and show you the vehicle at idle underneath. This is the engine at idle tick over. It's your battery there, brake fluid, fuse box. Move along. Oil, 
oil dipstick, washer fluid, header tank for your coolant. Just let you listen to the engine. Now we're just going to give it a rev about four or five times. Engine sounds sweet as a nut. Just to show you, they've had a roof rack put on for ladders and also this model, that's a diesel filler cap and that's your Ad Blue, which needs topping up periodically. Speaking of the roof rack, this is a three piece one. Because the van roof curves, You'll notice that that one is slightly higher, that one in the middle is lower, and that one is slightly higher. But then that keeps anything on the roof level all the way across.